Are you new to baking pizza in one of these small, high temp pizza ovens? Do you struggle with getting the bottom of your pizza cooked before burning the outer crust or the top? Well, you're in luck. There's an easy solution to this problem, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. But first, let me just roll through what I consider the wrong way to bake a pizza in one of these tiny ovens. All right, my oven has been preheating for about 10 to 15 minutes. It feels pretty hot, but you know, I don't have an infrared thermometer to check the stone temp before I fire my pizza. So I'm gonna slide my pizza up onto my peel, just like this. And the oven seems hot enough, so screw it. Let's bake. All right. Pizza is launched, and I'm even gonna turn down the flame a bit just so that I don't burn my crust. Whoop, it's too much. There we go. Theoretically, this should give the pizza more time on the stone so that the bottom cooks evenly with the top and the outer crust. All right, looks pretty good. What do you think? So the outer crust looks Really nice, nicely browned. The toppings, the cheese is melted. Everything looks great. Let's check out underneath, huh? Yeah, can you see that that's just ridiculously underbaked? Ugh, it's terrible, very disappointing. Here's the solution, okay? Make sure you preheat your oven with the flame all the way up at 100%, about 30 minutes before you fire your pizza, no less than that. And B, get yourself an infrared thermometer and make sure you temp out the stone before you fire your first pizza. In my opinion, at least with this Caro 16, the stone temp has to be somewhere between 850 and 900 degrees Fahrenheit before I even fire my first pizza. You know, that could fluctuate a little bit just depending on what oven you're actually using, but that's a good place to start, a good range. Now, um, let's cook a pizza the right way and I'll talk about the flavor of the day. All right, I've shaped my pizza and I'm gonna add some sauce. This is actually uh, a vodka cream sauce, similar to what you'd get in uh, uh, Penny Alla Vodka. I got this idea from the recipe in Ken Forkish's book, The Elements of Pizza. I'll leave a link to that in the video description, along with a uh, measurement and ingredient list and detailed steps on how to make this sauce. Mine, mine differs a little bit from his recipe in his book. Just spread a thin layer here, just enough sauce to, to cover the pizza. Leave about um, a little over an inch around the outside for the crust. That looks good. Now, uh, fresh whole milk mozzarella, pretty standard. Perfect. Next, a little sweet Italian sausage. I just went ahead and cooked this off and crumbled it up. That looks good. And to finish it up before it goes in the oven, some some parm, some grated parm. And I'm cheating again. This is a Wegmans um, grated Parmigiano. It is, uh, it's DOP, so it's the legit stuff is just pre-grated for me. Now, before I go ahead and fire this pizza, I need to check the stone temp. So I'm gonna grab my infrared thermometer. All right, I don't know if you can see this on the display, but it's uh, 880, perfect. All right, let's get this onto a peel. All right, that looks good. All right. Okay, now by getting that stone hotter and verifying it with a thermometer, we should be able to cook the base a little faster so it can keep up with how fast the top and the outer crust cook, all right? All right, time to come out. <sighs> you guys say that, huh? Looks pretty good. All right, oh, I gotta get some of this flour out of here, huh? <laughs> Raw flour on the counter. There we go. Now, for the reveal, let's check this out. Yeah, 
that looks much better. Now the base of the pizza cooked more evenly with everything else going on here. The outer crust is nice and brown. The cheese is all melted. Uh, this is a good bake. Uh, so see how some simple tweaks to your process can yield much better results. Just manage that stone temp. You know, bump the temp up. Check it with the thermometer. Make sure everything's good to go before you fire your pizza. And you'll get uh, pies that turn out like this. So let's, uh, let's finish this off with a little fresh basil and uh, give it a taste. All right, here we go. Some basil. Let's see. I'm not really sure what this uh, this vodka sauce is gonna do to the pizza. There, it's pretty good. A little bit of extra parm for good measure. Like that. There we go. You guys see that? Get a shoe fly. <laughs> Everybody wants a piece of my pizza. Yeah, so there we go. Moment of truth. Hmm. Cream sort of mellows the tomato sauce a little bit. It's good. You can do without it though. But I, I like the Calabrian chili that I put in the sauce. I can definitely get that for sure. It goes nicely with that sweet sausage and the basil. Hmm, nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit me in the comments below with any questions and I'll catch you next time.